Two and a half days of talking at the White House for suggestions on wavering in our fight as it comes to Afghanistan, Yemen, Syria, and Iraq. Break the cycle of sectarian violence mentioned uh, in Syria. Uh, The political grievances need to be broken down and lift up the voices of tolerance and peace and do it online. Those suggestions from the Commander-in-Chief, Captain Chuck Nash, is back with me. Two and a half days, could you have written that Monday? Um, I I think it probably was written on Monday. Uh, The problem with this, Bill, is that he's talking about a world that does not exist. It's a fantasy world in his mind or his speechwriter's mind. But the fact is that we are looking once again, this is the third time in history, Osama bin Laden called his effort the third jihad. It is the third jihad. You've got militant Islam on the march. It now controls territory in Syria and Iraq. And all of the countries that the president used when he described where these extremists are, are controlled or are being overrun by organizations that define themselves as Islamic. So I, I, this digital network that he's um, setting up to pull everybody together, well, their first hashtag ought to be hashtag duh, because that's what this is really about. We are, this is the willful disregard, and it's going to come at a horrific price. Um, quickly, had you brought the president of Egypt or King Abdullah of Jordan to the White House? Well, well, would that, would Look, that have made a much stronger statement yes, than bringing Bill, this it, list of people that we're not, we don't even know, Captain? Here's the thing. If we're drawn into this in a major land battle, which will happen if this thing is allowed to fester and, and grow in gravitas, you're going to have the Death Star over there, and it's going to cause a major conflagration. The only way to stop that is to back the governments that themselves are under threat right now by these people who see themselves as the true believers and the true followers of Muhammad. They see themselves doing the actual teachings of Muhammad, not what the bad Muslims are doing, which is they have become more secularized, as the president has talked about. These are the moderate Muslims. Those are the ones that these people think are apostates, and they're killing them just like they're killing Christians and Jews. Thank you, Captain. Chuck Nash in Washington. Appreciate it, sir. Here's Martha with more. All right, Brett Baer joins us now, the anchor of Special.